Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Two, three, four. No way! We're back out at Lucky Unit 22. This is the one where the safe was in the trailer. And our goal is George. Then we got Gwen out here as well. We're gonna put the loose stuff in the actual trailer. And then we're gonna roll the trailer into this cargo trailer. At least that's the goal. And then we're gonna sort through it back at the warehouse. And there's George's favorite piece in this unit. This is from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Or something. Right? Or something. And we still have two more units out here that we don't even know what's in it, except for Pokemon cards. Believe it or not, the plan actually worked. It took a lot of adjusting, but we got it all in there. Now back to the warehouse to see what we actually have inside. You think we'll find a safe? Sweating. My back is sweating. Your back is sweating? Awesome. That's your answer to do you think we'll find a safe? <laughs> Your back is sweating. Okay. All right, so if you think we'll find a safe, her back is sweating. It's a day later, but I'm officially back at the warehouse with the trailer in the trailer. You see what I'm saying? The trailer is actually in the trailer. Now, I'm too close to the dock to actually pull it out, and I don't have enough help. Actually, I don't have any right now, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull some of the, the actual totes out. We're gonna find out what's inside, and I'll get to all of this tomorrow when I have a little bit more help with me. I'll get the trailer out of the way, the whole deal. So let's find out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping like hails that we can make at least $500 just in the totes that we pull out today. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. 500 or bust, and we don't wanna go bankrupt, that's for sure. So let's make the money. Totes my goats, here we go. I bought this unit because it had the trailer and I knew I could make an easy $500 in the trailer. But I always, always wanna be making money regardless because my time is worth money. So I always wanna be generating at least $100 an hour. So it's gotta be worth it for me. This looks like Purpose Driven Life. It is by Rick Warren. If you haven't watched, or excuse me, if you haven't read this book, phenomenal book. You'll love it and phenomenal preacher. Got a couple nice lamps here. Now, one of the things that I actually have guessed is that they had a place up in Michigan based on Michigan plates, and I think they had a lodge. And this piece of mail actually confirms it. So they were in Michigan. Looks like this was probably all from the hunting lodge or an actual place. Nice lamps there. Well, Maybe we got a microwave somewhere because that's a microwave old plate. We got blankets. I'm gonna donate all the blankets to George George for his son's school. And here we've got milk glass. That's a nice little cookie platter or cake platter. I don't know if it's worth anything. If you think it's worth something, let me know in the comments. All these blankets, yeah, these are all going to George George. These are all going for his son's school. So that's, that's that too. All right, I, I kind of want to get these ones that are out of the trailer so I can get to the back. What if I can dig? Let me see if I can get that three level uh, tear drawer right there. Let's find out what's in there because I think I see some toys. I'll dig it out and we'll dig inside. Let's see what we can find in drawer number one. Right now you're all like, where's George? Where's George? George is up north celebrating Meerkat's birthday. So Meerkat is turning six. Uh, she's, she's, she's really growing up fast. So if you wanna wish Meerkat a, a happy sixth birthday, just put that straight down there in the actual comment section and she'll see that. What do we have here? Oh, that's kind of a cool car. This just looks like, I've never seen these before. Are these Melissa and Doug? No, I don't know what they are. Oh, we got some ponies. You can never have enough cool ponies, right? For the girls. I have two of them in my life. My 20-year-old and my 11-year-old. 
and I think they both still love their ponies. So, this one's just random, this drawer here. I'm gonna put all that back and see if we can find the money in the next drawer. Yeah, oh, it's starting to look like something. Let's pan down. Let's see. We've got... Alright, that looks like homemade candy. I am hungry. I have not eaten all day. It's 3 o'clock. Uh, I have been going since I got up at 6.45. Um, we've got... Oh, we've got Peppa the Pig. And that uh, adventure show. I forget the adventure show. But look at all these Peppa the Pigs. There are a bunch of Peppa the Pig figures. So there you go. All of you that love Peppa the Pig and love splashing in muddy puddles. There we go. We'll just get rid of the, the candy and Play-Doh. And we have blocks. Blocks sell well. Blocks are money. Not a bad deal. Hopefully we find another safe. That's what we're hoping for. So let's see what we have here. And well, you know, you know this stuff is kind of necessities. Clothes hangers and dust pans when uh, when you've got a place up north. And that'll just get scrap load. But ooh, what do we have? We've got a Pyrex bowl. That'll that'll do all right. I bet you hunting decor. Sit long. Talk much, laugh often. Um, this describes George. Long sits, talks a lot, and laughs even more. There you go. That sign is for George. What else do we have here? A fisherman's prayer. See, now I think this was a hunting cabin where they go hunting and fishing. So that's kind of cool. Sleeping Bear Dunes in Michigan. I've been there plenty, plenty of times. All right, we got a couple boxes in here. So let's see what we have in these boxes. Brand new toothpaste. That is going home with me. And it's advanced whiting as well. My teeth are going to be so bright. All right. Uh, medical wipes. That will most likely all be thrown away. But. Ha! Huh, mouthwash. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Window wash. Mouthwash. There we go. But still, I could probably wash windows too. This. This looks like everything from, well, this looks like everything from the sink, you know, from the lodge, like they had to bring everything home. Odd. Big money, big money, big money, big money, and paper. Let's see. Grand Traverse, that's probably Traverse City in Michigan. I lived there for almost two years. Uh, we got yellow books, maps, again, guides to local food. We've got, we've got maps, the, the whole deal. So, again, that just, again, proves our suspicion that this was a seasonal home. And uh, this was more like a getaway vacation home for hunting and fishing and things along those lines. Look what we just found. We just found, well, we found books. Lots and lots of books. Looks like kids' books, so the kids had something to do. But, can you see it? I gotta undig it. Can you dig it? I gotta undig it. We just found, if I can get it. There we go. We just found the actual microwave. Well, that old plate that we found doesn't go to this one. So there's another microwave. That's a good $25 for us right there. So that's not a bad, a bad find right there. It's pretty clean too. All right, this one had a piece of tape going right here. It said bathroom. So hopefully it's great stuff that we can use such as, actually this, you know, there are days that I've been in the bathroom that this thing would actually come in really handy. That's, that's not too bad right there. I could use that on those days where you're really, really blocked up. Stamp it right out of you. Um, Uh-oh, something sounds something sounds awesome or broken. It, oh, it's a hummingbird feeder from the from the lodge. That's kind of cool. Although we need a glass top there. Okay. Let's see. Books for the kids. Uh, 
paper. We'll set that over, set that over. Okay, towels. Again, we're just gonna donate these towels. Those go in the donation. Unless George is here and she goes, I need more towels. Look at this. I found a unicorn. They do exist right there. There's a peekaboo. So some of these peekaboo stuffed animals, this one's a little bit dirty. And uh, some of the larger ones actually sell for a decent price online. These towels are actually, I might end up holding on to the, oh, gold! We found it. It made it worth it all. The safe with the money was nothing compared to this toilet paper. This is what it all comes down to, people. Right here, this is what we need in the zombie apocalypse. This will be the currency of the world. I'm thrilled. That'll go in my undercover stash. Okay, now look at this. This is a bunch of shower cap. Now, if this is like, like, um, uh, what do I want to say? It's cold. My lips aren't working. If this was perfume, now it's conditioner. If this is perfume or fragrances or stuff like that, it would have some value. I'll have to go through it individually. Actually, let's open this one up really quick. Ah, it's more soaps, more Rome stuff. I'm not sure what Rome is, but I'll look that up on eBay. And if it has value, even the used stuff. Look, there's an actual real sponge right there. A loofah sponge. Um, that, oh, there you go. Waterfall Mist Shampoo. Right now I'm using strawberry, but that'll go home with me. I don't buy shampoo. I'll actually use that to wash my hair. And the soap, oh, even even better. Whenever you can find soap like this, make sure you hold on to it because soap is expensive. So you just hold on to that. You'll be doing great. Other than, oh, we got, there you go. You got Kurt's Castle soap right there. Right there, that's the good stuff. We got stuffed animals and we got shoes. Actually, nice summer shoes. That's actually not too bad. If I find anything else good in here, I'll let you see it. Here we go. Looks like we have the whole, the whole cooking kitchen. Glassware for cooking. Please be food. Look at this. Yes. 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 This is that's lunch. It's like three something right now. There's potato chips in there and look at that. Can't tell me it's not healthy. That's a dried green bean. That's healthy for everybody. I'm just gonna save that for a little bit later. Or George will get mad at me. I have the whole fishing lodge motif going on there. Let's see, what do we have here? Lap quilting for all of our quilters. And Jimmy's cooking glass. All right, this all looks like kitchen stuff. I'm just gonna take care of this and we'll move on to the next tote. Check out this hanger right here. This giant fish, but look at, look at where you hang everything. It's on fish hooks. So this has gotta be one of the coolest pieces. Again, further evidence that this was hunting, fishing up in Michigan. For those who are from Michigan, you know there's a lake Every mile, you, you, you can't walk a mile without hitting a body of lake water somewhere. So we'll set that aside. We'll get into the next tote. I lived in Michigan for almost two years working in Christian camping. Had a ton of fun. And let's see what kind of fun we can get into here. This looks like it could be fun. What's this? What is this? This is... This is peace. You know what George George would say right now? Just give peace a try. That's what he would say. Holy cow, they, they make these anatomically correct. I didn't know angels. Well, you see there. So let's see what else we have. Oh, there's stuff wrapped in here. I'm shooting it everywhere. What is this? Okay, it looks like these are ponchos for being out on the lake or in the woods. Here's another one. Here's a, here's a book bag. So this looks like gear. This definitely looks like gear. Oh, here's one of their one of their prized possessions, it looks like, from the lodge. Right there. Is that a chickadee, maybe? Not sure. Yep, apparently it is a chickadee. Alright, let's see. 
got... Well, we have the cross, so you know what's going to come next in this tote. It's always together for some reason. Let's see. It's probably in this thing right here. Do you think it's in here? Oh, you, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Uh, I don't think it's porn, which is usually there. It's a laptop. Toshiba laptop. A little older. Actually, this is this would be perfect to run YouTube on right here, right there. We got a Safe Light Toshiba. Last laptop we found in the twenty-five dollar unit it was touch screen. I wonder. That's probably not touch screen. What do we have. What do we have? And we have. We've got all kinds of cards. I'm gonna have to see. This is a savings card. I'm gonna have to go through and see if we have any gift cards, which hopefully we do. George was just saying to me that we need to do a cashing in gift cards really soon. So we were gonna do that today, but then we didn't. And there's another Petoskey stone. That last tote actually found a piece of sterling silver. Found it in a cup that was filled with pens and pencils, believe it or not. So that just, again, proves the point. You got to look through everything. And it's not always easy to look through everything while you're filming. You see it right there, sterling. But always go through everything with a fine tooth later. So this whole piece right here, beautiful decorative horse piece, sterling silver. That's money. That makes me happy. Let's see what other kind of money we can make. Now, if Jesse is actually in here, I wish Jesse was actually in the box. We'll see if we can find Jesse. We got towels. These look like hotel towels, don't they? Don't the hotel towels usually have the stripe down by the hot tub and the swimming pool? And we've got Cherry Republic. It's a little pie pan. Yeah, what I think really what happened is they had to take everything... I don't know yet because I haven't looked online to figure everything out, but based on all of the signs that I see, I think they had to take everything out of the family hunting lodge and somehow moved it up here to Ohio. This looks like all, all cooking. Okay, here, here's what I'm going to do because this is, well, there's some fish. There we go. Now if I can find the loaves with the fish, we can feed 5,000. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go through this tote. If I find anything cool, I'll show it to you. If not, we'll move on to the next tote so we can tote my goats. We've got yellow, red, yellow, red. Remember, for all of you safety enthusiasts out there, if you see red, you're dead. But we're still doing all right. There is, is that Paddington? I think that's, isn't that Paddington Bear with the red hat? Or did Paddington have a yellow? I don't know. There's a long necked giraffe. And hey, it's a llama. Does anybody remember the llama song? I'm a llama, you're a llama, everyone's a llama, llama. I don't remember the rest of it, but you guys can Google that if you want to see that song. Uh, we got, oh, there's Winnie. And we got a bunch of toys. We got this crazy, we got this crazy horse. This horse wraps. Yeah, listen to that. Busting a beat there. And let's see, what else do we have? Let's see what we got. All right, I found a horse. Got it. We're set that over there. And I found found some here's here's a few movies. There's a Land Before Time and Dory. Finding Dory, and then we got Despicable Me 3. Other than that, just looks like some random odds and ends. I'll go through that. If I find anything awesome, I'll make sure I show it to you. This tote is extremely heavy. So I'm hoping another hidden safe. What do we have? Blankets? These could be original Aztec blankets. Oh, what's that? Is that like American Legion? Oh my, oh, oh, you know what we have? 
If you have not seen our Petoskey stone video where we make thousands of dollars on Petoskey stones, they have an entire collection of stones. And if these are Petoskeys, we just hit another thousand upon thousand dollars. And you may be thinking, I'm completely and totally crazy. This is Petoskey. This is Petoskey right here. You see that? This is a saltwater coral. And these, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We just hit big. Michigan, the whole city of Petoskey is named Petoskey. These, these, I can't believe it. I probably shouldn't be throwing the money around like that, but this is awesome. That's a little bit of Petoskey right there. These all need to be sanded. I'll have to go through them all. This one, that one can just be skipped. Ah, uh, awesome. All right, well, there are, there are blankets in here. I'm sure this is something. It looks like American Legion, but I just found all the money rocks. Let's look at this really quick. This is something. I can't believe that. Oh, is this Michigan? This is, this is, this is Michigan. I thought American Legion because, because I would never be caught dead with these colors. Um, what is this? Um, here, okay. Somebody graduated from Michigan University in 49. And this is their Michigan University blanket from 49. If anybody has an interest in this, let us know. This this had to be like Grandpa's Lodge or... This is crazy. They brought all the rocks back from Michigan, too. I can't believe it. All right, this one doesn't, this doesn't look anything special, but it was dry cleaned. Well, we just made our money and then some on all of these rocks. It's ridiculous, but it's true.